Hey guys, and welcome back to Rex and Reeves. This is Melissa, some of you may know me as Paola. Today we are celebrating our six year anniversary. We had whoop, whoop. the in-laws uh, keep the baby overnight, and we're just out here on the we boat. We gotta get catching some bait. Let me show you what we got so far. <laughs> we did just start. We got a pinfish in there. I think we got a white bait and the rest, I have no idea. We jack. jack. So far we got a jack, runner. blue runner. We got one thread fin for sure. And a pinfish. Oh, what's this right here? Is this a big turtle? The water is absolutely beautiful today. All right guys, so today, like Melissa said, it is our six year anniversary. So go ahead, before you see any more of the video, Smash that thumbs up button just because we've celebrated six years. It's not all easy, but uh, we are in it for the long haul, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, guys, so today, honestly, we just came out here to jump out on the boat. It's a beautiful day. The weather's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. And I grabbed a couple rods with me. We just found some bait. As you guys will see, we are out here. I saw some bait. We stopped with a sabiki rig and uh, caught us a few baits. I'm going to run out here to a really close inshore wreck because Melissa is seven months pregnant and I don't want to get her way out there. Something happened, you know, that's just, that's asking to get in trouble. So we're going to stay like a, within a mile offshore, there's a wreck called Helen's. We're going to see if there's maybe a kingfish or some Spanish mackerel, something there. So uh, you guys just enjoy the ride, stay tuned, and we'll get back with you when we get on some fish. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just anchored up just for a second because I was trolling. I saw a big blurb on the on the screen got some more bait we probably got another 10 or 12 baits in the bucket but we did set anchor to get those so what i've got is this is an anchor ball a lot of you guys probably know how to use this know what it is but for the people who don't i'm going to show you guys right now so we're anchored up just like you normally would you leave the rope on the cleat tied off and what you do is you take this little clip and you clip it right to your rope just like that. And what it's gonna do is we're gonna drive off this away. We're gonna drive off. It's gonna pick that anchor up. It's gonna drag behind you. And all you gotta do is pull it right in. Take a look and watch. Them. So what we're doing right now is look, if you take a look back at the ball, we're literally just dragging it up. And that ball is going down the line. You see when it starts to do that? That means your anchor is all the way up. That's the right there. And then all you do is, from here, you literally just pull it to you. So there's no more fussing with the anchor, no more hurting yourself trying to get it all wrapped up and back there and hung on just in the bottom. The one time you want to be careful is when you're actually on a natural reef. Uh, you know, you don't risk anything up. Easy as that. Now we're off to the fishing spot. See you in a minute. We have been we have been searching all day long for a fish, guys. I don't know what this is. It's not too big, whatever it is, but it's a fish, and that's what counts right now. That's the fastest I've ever seen. <laughs> She was in a full on <laughs> sleep. We have one of these uh, bean bags and they are so comfortable. The water guys today is the cleanest I've ever seen it. It's pretty Spanish. Is it a Spanish mackerel? Spanish mac. He's going on the smoker boys. Going on the smoker. We're gonna ice them down. All we have is our little lunchbox cooler today. All you're gonna do is take your knife and cut right here. And bleed them out a little bit. Under ice. Make sure he's covered in ice. Sorry for the beef jerky. But make sure he's covered in ice. You gotta keep the meat nice and firm so that when we get back to the house, it'll be so, so good. He's going on the smoker today. We're gonna to be doing a Spanish mackerel, catch, clean, and cook, fish dip edition, starting now. 
So guys, tonight, this evening, when I get back home, I might keep these guys on ice for one day or so, but I'm gonna try my best to smoke this thing up tonight a little bigger, I think. Actually, nice a little bigger. My dad's calling. One more in the cooler. Might try to get one more, not sure yet, and then we're heading home. We'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. We just got back not too long ago, got all showered up, got cleaned up, and we have two fish to fillet for you guys tonight. So what I have here is two Spanish mackerel, and we're gonna be doing a Spanish mackerel fish, smoke fish dip. So tonight, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock the sides off these. We're not gonna take the skin off, we're just gonna knock the side of the fillets off. We're gonna make a brine for them. We're gonna keep this in there till tomorrow, and tomorrow evening we are throwing these things on the smoker, and then they'll cook for about two and a half hours. So let's go ahead and get through the cleaning portion of this video, and uh, rock and roll. So these fish, as you guys can tell, whenever, these fish, whenever I caught them, I actually bled them out here, so you can see that right there. I bled them out so that would be a lot easier and a lot more tasty whenever it comes to eating them. And also, these fish here are super, super soft. So you can just take your knife like that. Normally you'd go down the back and try to get every little last piece. And we're gonna get every last piece, but their skin and their meat is just very, very soft. So it doesn't take much to get through them. Come up right behind the head and go right down the tail. Just like you would any other fish, go right down the backbone. Why are you doing this one differently? This one's a little bit bigger. And uh, just to show people that you can do it either way, depends on how you're used to cleaning fish. But the small ones, I like to just go ahead and get the other way. It makes it a lot easier whenever you go to clean it. And then we'll just go right through here. See all that row in there? Where? This one had a row, that yellow. Oh. That's what that looks like? That's what row is. I thought they were little tiny balls. That's sushi row, that's like flying fish row. Oh. You guys saw that fall on camera because that freaking hurt today. I really don't ever fall like that, but today, that was a bad one. Um, but these are the two fillets, the bigger ones. These are the small guys here. And we're gonna throw this here into, we're gonna make a brine with, I've already got some ice in here. We got water. This is kosher salt. How much are you putting in there? About that much. <laughs> Throw on some honey. You guys should use honey brown sugar, doesn't matter. Either or. This is what I had in the pantry, so figure we'd use it. Oh yeah. Last but not least. What are they? This year, pickled jalapenos. These things are gonna sit for 24 hours. Just really get good, iced up, cold. But we'll see you guys in 24 hours. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. 
This is my Spanish mackerel. You guys saw me catch it, you saw me clean it, and it has been sitting in a brine for about 24 hours now. We're gonna go ahead and season this up, throw it on the smoker for two and a half hours, and then we're gonna make some killer fish dip. So what we have first, I'm going to switch things up a little bit. I don't know if you guys have ever seen anybody do this. I've never done it, so we'll all try it together. I'm gonna to take some Crystal's hot sauce, not too much, but just to give it a little bit of spice. I'm gonna throw it right on top of the fillets. And then I'm gonna take my Everglades fish and chicken. You guys can see that right there. Everglades fish and chicken. Now, don't worry about seasoning too heavy because this is the only seasoning pretty much that's going in the whole fish dip. And we're gonna have cream cheese, we're gonna have mayo, we're gonna have a lot of different stuff to, to deaden it out. So this is actually gonna be seasoning the whole fish dip. So don't worry about going too crazy. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but don't be afraid. And then this here is what we call some swamp dust. This is from my Louisiana family, Lacey and Nate. Thank you guys for the hookup. Actually, today is Tuesday, and they are about to have their baby today. So I'm so excited, praying that everything goes well, and uh, and that there's no problems at all, of course. And let's take a look at this here. Boom, perfect. All right, guys, we're gonna leave these on here for about two and a half hours at 225 degrees, and then we will go back in there, tear it all apart, and make some awesome fish dip. Hey guys, welcome back. It's my turn to take over. Let's go check on that fish. It's looking really good. That looks nice. This is gonna be delicious, guys. All right, so now we are gonna separate the fish from the skin should come right off. And you also want to get this dark piece. That is the bloodline. And that's usually what gives fish a fishy flavor. So we want to make sure we get rid of that. Cool. So we just flipped it over and you kind of just, just glides right off. Pretty easy. Now guys, this is our first time ever doing this before, so if there's better ways to do this, we don't know them, and we're just trial by error, but the flavor of this fish is really, really good. Is that the coolest salt and pepper shaker you've ever seen? That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's just weird. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay. All right, so tell us what you got here. All right, we have uh, I don't know what we've done. <laughs> <laughs> we've pieced out all the fish. We've taken all the skin off the fish. We've made sure there was no bones in here. We're kind of just going to pull it, kind of like chicken. Okay. All right, now that we have all the fish kind of pulled and shredded broken up. up. Yes, shredded, thank you. We're kind of just going to play around with uh, the amounts. So we're going to do equal parts. And we're gonna start out light. Now what is that? That's whipped. This is whipped cream cheese. Hold on. From Publix. Publix. brand. <laughs> we love Publix. Oh, and a little more. What was the other that you put in there? And this one is Duke's mayonnaise. Duke's real mayonnaise. The best. And like I said, I kinda wanna start light just cause once you Go in with a heavy hand, you can't go back. All right guys, now we are going to add a little bit of chopped onions. Those, Those are, are diced jalapenos. Pickled jalapenos. Yes. Not much. And you're right, this doesn't need any salt at all. So everything that you seasoned the fish with, that gave it plenty of salt. All right, let's do this. That is good. That's mm, really good. That's good. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. It has been awesome. This is the first time that me and Melissa have actually made a video where both of us are in it together. 
and we just wanted to say thank you guys for supporting the channel for supporting everything that we do and if you guys like videos like this make sure to leave comments below see it, telling us something that you guys might want to see us do um, or cook in the future but otherwise make sure to hit that thumbs up button make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we will see you guys next time and we are out of here